Hey everyone, welcome back to Life on Wheel. Today, we're diving into something super exciting, the 2026 Kai FA-50 Single Seat Fighter, a cutting-edge evolution of South Korea's versatile FA-50 light combat aircraft. Now, before we get started, I want to clarify that there's been some confusion in the aviation world about this platform being a helicopter, it's not. The FA-50 is a supersonic light fighter jet, and the upcoming single seat variant, tentatively called the F-50, is set to make waves in the global defense market. So, buckle up as we explore what makes this jet a game changer, its specs, its purpose, and why it's generating so much buzz. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're pumped for more aviation content. Let's kick things off with the backstory. The FA-50, developed by Korea Aerospace Industries, or Kai, in collaboration with Lockheed Martin, is part of the T-50 Golden Eagle family, which started as a supersonic trainer for the Republic of Korea Air Force. Since its first flight in 2002 and entry into service in 2005, the T-50 evolved into the TA-50 for light attack roles and the FA-50, a multirole light fighter. The FA-50 has already proven itself with air forces in countries like Poland, Malaysia, the Philippines, Iraq, and Thailand, thanks to its affordability and versatility. It's a compact jet, measuring 13.14 meters long with a 9.45 meter wingspan, and it's powered by a General Electric F404 D102 turbofan engine, pumping out 17,700 pounds of thrust. That gives it a top speed of Mach 1.5 and a service ceiling of 48,000 feet, making it a nimble and capable platform for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Now, let's talk about the star of the show, the single-seat FA-50 or F-50, expected to have a prototype ready by 2026 and a final version by 2028. Why go single seat? Well, Kai is responding to demand from customers who want a leaner, more cost-effective fighter. The current F-A-50 is a two-seater, which is great for training or missions requiring a second crew member to manage systems. But by removing the rear seat, Kai is making room for a 300-gallon auxiliary fuel tank, boosting the jet's range by 20 to 30 percent over the current 1,000 nautical miles. That's a game-changer for missions requiring longer loiter times, like precision strikes or air patrols. Plus, ditching the second seat's avionics and ejection seat cuts costs and frees up space for additional electronics or weapons, increasing the payload capacity. Kai is keeping the same canopy and outer design to minimize development costs, which is a smart move to keep this jet budget-friendly. So, what can this jet do? The FA-50 single-seat variant will pack a punch with its advanced avionics and weaponry. It's equipped with a 20mm 3-barrel M197 cannon and 7 hardpoints for a wide range of munitions, including AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-120M ROM air-to-air missiles, AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missiles, and precision-guided bombs like JDAM and GBU-12. The Block 20 version, which this single-seater will likely build on, even supports advanced munitions like the British Spear III, Brimstone, and German KEPD 350K II Taurus. It can also carry Raphael's Sky Shield ECM pods and sniper or lightning targeting pods for enhanced situational awareness. The jet features the Raytheon Phantom Strike AESA radar for Block 20, a step up from the LM2032 Pulse Doppler radar, giving it detection capabilities comparable to heavier fighters like the KF-16. Add in air-to-air -air refueling and an automatic ground collision avoidance system, and you've got a jet that's as smart as it is deadly. Who's this jet for? Kai is targeting air forces looking to replace aging fleets like the Northrop F-5, MIG-21, or A-37, which are still in service in many countries. The F-50 offers about 80% of an F-16's capability at a fraction of the cost. Estimated at $30 to $35 million per unit compared to the Gripen's $60 million. With a potential market of 801,000 light fighters globally, Kai aims to capture over 50% of it. Countries like Egypt, Peru, and even existing FA-50 users like the Philippines, which recently ordered 12 more Block 20 jets, are on Kai's radar. The jet's proven its worth in real combat too, Philippine FA-50s flew over 100 sorties in the 2017 Battle of Marawi, dropping bombs and rockets with precision. Kai's not stopping here, 
They're also exploring an unmanned version of the FA-50 for future manned-unmanned teaming with the KF-21 Boromae, South Korea's next-gen fighter set to enter service in 2026. This shows Kai's big-picture vision to dominate the aerospace industry, as CEO Kong Gu Young has emphasized with their global KAI 2050 strategy. The single-seat FA-50 is a bold step toward that goal, blending affordability, modern tech, and combat prowess. So, what do you think? Is the F-50 the future of light fighters? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's get the conversation going. If you enjoyed this deep dive, give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more aviation content on Life on Wheel. Until next time, keep soaring.